Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your PS5. We're going to talk about internet, we're going to talk about uh, resolution versus performance, we're going to talk uh, also about like the image quality itself and some issue that you maybe have or you will have. So let's start the guide. First of all, we're going to talk about internet. Uh, a lot of people is ask me, asking me the question like, what is the best way to connect my PS5 to internet? For sure, if you can wire, just go wire. It's a lot better. But if you have to use the Wi-Fi, if you are near from your router, go with the 5 gigahertz. Uh, it will be more stable and also you will have a nice uh, download speed. If you are far from your router, go with 2.4. You, your download speed will be slower, but you will have some stability. I hope for you that you're not too far, but this is pretty much what you can do. Also, uh, you want to change the DNS on your console. You don't want to use the one from your internet provider. Right now, Cloudflare has really good DNS, like very, very fast. So let's go to settings, network, settings again. Go to setup internet connection you will have some like please wait uh, loading and in uh, the register network click on your internet connection go to advanced setting scroll a little bit by default it will be at automatic like this you will need to put this one at manual and the first thing that you want to add is the primary dns you want to write 1.1.1.1 after that press done after that, you have the secondary DNS. If you have like some issue with the primary, I don't know, it's down, offline or whatever, write 1.0.0.1. When you're done, press OK. And now you're good. Just back and back again. Oops, sorry. So go back to settings. After that, the second thing that we, we will look at, it's the uh, in the save data and game app setting, press this. After that, go to game preset. So in you have an option called performance mode or resolution more mode. By default, it will be at game default. So the game will choose if they want to run performance or resolution. And honestly, I did a couple of tests and 90% of my game run at resolution mode. So you have like the nice mode with the better image quality and stuff like that. But if you have if you are like a competitive gamer, uh, you have the performance mode that you can use. Uh, you, uh, it will lower a little bit the graphic quality and the, the goal is to have more FPS and a stable FPS. The thing is right now, it's a little bit tricky. Fortnite is locked at 60, Warzone is locked at 60. For sure, developer will uh, update their game. They're gonna make sure that you can run some high refresh rate uh, FPS. And that's why you should definitely choose the performance mode if you're playing stuff like, like I said, Rocket League, Fortnite, Warzone, or whatever. If you're like a guy who would like to play solo game, you want image quality, go with the resolution mode. You're going to make sure that you always run the best version for the graphic quality. So when you do that, go with performance mode. Just back one time. Another thing that you can do, it's in the system uh, if you have some issue uh, to capture your uh, console right now, make sure that you disable the HDCP, really important. By default, it's activated. And uh, if you want to capture your, <laughs> your PS5, you just can't because of that. So make sure that you disable this one. I will go back. Now let's go to screen and video. If you click on this one, Go to video output. This is pretty much where you will change your video output. I don't like to use automatic on console. Make sure that you just use the one that you want to use. So for an example, if you want your 1080p 120 FPS, this is pretty much where you will change your resolution. If you want to go 4K, go 4K. For me right now, I can't because I'm capturing my PS5, but normally I play 4K. Uh, right now, don't look at the 2K resolution. It's not available on the PS5. It's available only on the Xbox Series X. Uh, probably they will update the firmware. So this is pretty much where you will uh, change your resolution. Another thing that you can do, you can remove the HDR if you don't want to. Automatic means on, so it will just go on when you um, when the game will be uh, compatible. But if you don't like the HDR effect, you're playing again competitive game. You don't want like some crazy sun in your face when you're shooting someone. This is pretty much where you can change the graphic parameter. So this is pretty much it for this uh, video output. 
So this is pretty much it for the guide. One more thing that I want to add, if you have an LG OLED monitor, I had a couple of issues. I didn't like, uh, I had like an issue with my HDR. I was not able to activate my HDR on my screen and I didn't know why. It's because you need to make sure that your deep color is activated on your HDMI. So it was activated on my HDMI 1, 2, 3, but the, the fourth one did, <laughs> was not. So that was my problem. So just activate that in your setting and you will be fine. So for the PS5, I'm really impressed right now with it. I really like the graphics. It's running well. The gamepad is amazing. It feels really next gen. So if you have any question, guys, if you don't have the console and you're wondering, uh, like, is it my mon monitor will be compatible with the PS5 or whatever, my TV, HDR, 4K, whatever question, I'll try to help you the best that I can. If you have currently the PS5, don't hesitate. If you have any comments or any issue with it, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.